Hello and welcome to Church of the Long List. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded any video recently because I was too busy. Anyway, here I am. On the 9th of January 2021, the Lord God opened my spiritual eyes to see in a dream. He gave me the dream. In this dream, I saw the soldiers, the multitude of soldiers were wearing a very dark green uniform. And there these soldiers were knocking on people's door in every street corner and forcing the people to get out of their house. The soldiers were forcing the people to get out of their house and to walk on the street on the road. And there were multitude, tens and thousands of people were walking on the street on the road. Everyone have nothing on their back except the clothes on their back. They carry no backpack, they carry no extra food, no extra clothes, no nothing. The older people were been forced out of their own home with nothing except the clothes on their back. Some of them were without their family or their loved one. They've been separated. And then in the blink of an eye, I was sitting among the crowd of people, like hundreds and hundreds of people in this little shade. And this man was sitting next to me. I looked at him. He looked at me. We both say nothing. And the crowd of people that were sitting with us in that spot will also say nothing. And while he was there with me, I have so much peace. I am so peaceful. I am so relaxed. Even though we so unsure of what's going on right there in the dream, why we've been forced out of the own our own home. We don't know, but I was having so much peace because I have that man next to me. And in the dream I did not know who it is. But when I wake up, I realize who it was. And I think you know who it is. And as soon as he, after a little while, he left me, he just disappeared in, a, in the blink of an eye. And then the worry and the stress came up on me. I start to worry. I start to panic. And I was worried about that I don't have food in my backpack. I, don't, I, I, I did pack some hygiene stuff and some food in my backpack. But then I, when I opened this backpack, the one I carry in a dream, right? That's the backpack I carry in a dream. And then I noticed that I don't have anything in my backpack. My backpack was empty. There is nothing in it. There's no food, no nothing, no hygiene stuff, no nothing. So, and then we were in a, in a different spot. Here I saw a picture of me was standing among a hundred and thousands of people. And you know what? In front of me were a woman that wearing the same uniform, dark, dark, dark green uniform soldier's uniform she was cooking bloody soup for the people to eat she was cooking very filthy and dirty soup for the people to eat and if the people don't eat it they will be shot and killed at the spot there she forced the people to eat the poison food to eat the bloody food okay and this old man, he refused to take it, to eat it. And then you know what happened? She just stabbed him in the chest and the blood came out and he died on the spot. And then I start panic. I pray to God in my mind in a dream. I say, please God, please God, I don't want to eat this food. I don't want to eat this food. And as soon after I pray that, I, God took my spirit somewhere else. And here I am with um, a group of people who were walking on a different street corner. And there were tens and thousands of people were walking in line on the road. On the road, not on the footpath. When you have a multitude of people, you need to walk on the road. Otherwise, you wouldn't fit on the footpath, right? There were tens and thousands of people were in line. Long, long queue were walking on the road where the car is driving. There is no car, only people. Crowds and thousands, tens and thousands of people walking on the road. And there... Um, the people were been persecuted for their faith. It doesn't matter what faith they are, but they've been persecuted from their house, from their home, from wherever they are. If they live in this street, they have to go to the next street. If they live on that street, they have to swap to the other street. You know what I mean? It's weird, but it's true. And then we were somewhere else. Here I am was walking around and round on this 
parking lot and were, there were a group of people was with me and there we were trying to escape and then the woman next to me opposite me she just said to me in the spirit she said there is a way out through that door and in the dream i didn't realize who it is but when i wake up i know who it is she said there's there's a way out through that door and then i look at it was like that is impossible but then i start praying to god i say please god open the door please god open the door and let us out let us out and you know what after a pray a few minute pray begging god for it the door the shutter was was just open by itself it's like magic you know what i mean and then me and the group of people just went through that hole there through that door that would open and then the next things i know me and the large group of people we was standing in one of the african home the woman was preparing the food for us to eat but on sitting on the couch inside that ho- woman's home was this man that wearing a soldier's clothes dark green uniform soldier's clothes and i was talking to him in the spirit and he was telling me that he was off duty that he is on sick leave that's why he was he didn't join the soldier you see and that was the end of the dream and the dreams mean the man that i saw in the dream that sitting next to me say nothing his name is jesus jesus no jesus knew everything's going to happen he already knew he was with me as soon as jesus left in that dream i have no peace anymore the dream mean god no jesus no everything's going to happen he already knew and he was comforting me and he is using me to warn the people that worse is to come that great 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 very great persecution is coming and i'm afraid it will be america it will start in america i don't know when i don't know how but the authority will force you people to get out of your house to get out of your home whoever you are wherever you are they don't care who you are they don't care who you are they just force you out of your own home that's what it but that's what god show me in the dream you will carry nothing you will have no chance to pack any bag pack nothing so my my advice to you is that america or elsewhere i don't know but i believe it's america i pray and ask god he didn't say a word but i believe it's america look at what happening now if you haven't packed anything get one backpack okay as long as you can carry maybe 10 kilo 15 is depend pack the stuff that you might need like hygiene stuff um first aid stuff medicine some canned food if you want some baby food i don't know just pack pack it one backpack and keep it aside if anything happen you just grab that bag and run for your life and if you don't know jesus christ yet now is the time that you open your heart pray the repentant prayer and ask him to come into your life as your god and savior because i tell you people around the world not just america and those who live there but people all around the world only the name of jesus can save you and your loved one and your family and don't worry if you don't see them in this life you will see them in the next life as long as they believe in jesus so you need to pray the repentant prayers in the links below and ask jesus to come into your life as your god and savior then your name will be written in the book of life and turn away from every evil and turn to him and start to do good it doesn't matter what your past is he don't care god doesn't care what about your past is because jesus died for all past future and present now is the time if you haven't believed in him if you haven't repent now is the time my stomach so and the person that in a dream that tell me there is a way out through that door it was the angel of god that sent to me and then i start praying and then i go through that door that door was open we went through it and the man sitting in the african home wearing the dark green uniform it means that do not trust anyone do not trust anyone you can love everyone but you can't trust everyone remember that word so only jesus can be trusted only god can be trusted the holy spirit will prompt it in your heart the holy spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth and you need to leave your place your home wherever you are when god tell you so you need to listen to your heart stop following your mind because the devil can trick your mind you need to follow your heart and that's where jesus is he's not up there he's in here okay
So the dreams mean there will be a very, very, very great persecution is coming to America. I hope it's not America, but I believe it's America. The enemy already hidden themselves in, inside America. And they're just waiting for opportunity to strike. And remember those soldiers that wearing very dark green uniform? They are the people in authority. Think about it. Why would they force you out of your own home? Why? And they're pushing you to walk on the street, on the road. Tens and thousands of people crowd on the road. Why? It has to be war. I don't know. But I'm just sharing to you what God showed me. I will keep it up to date when God show me next. But I can't promise when. But this is all that God showed me. So I tell you, America and around the world, if you don't know Jesus Christ, now is the time. Now is the time. Only God, only Jesus can hear your prayer. No other name can hear your prayer. Not even Mary. Not even Apostle. Only Jesus and God. Remember that. Because God already gave every power, every authority to Jesus. And now Jesus is in control. God just sit back and let his son Jesus control the world. God is still in control. Remember that. It doesn't matter how bad the world is. God is still in control. And so only the name of Jesus can save you and your family. Only the name of Jesus can provide for you and your family. God can feed you. He can use anything. He can, he can command anything, anyone to bring food to you. He, can, he even can, can make food to jump out of your plate with nothing. Okay? That's how God is. So you need to pray. You need to pray and turn to Jesus. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we declare and decree salvation and repentance of Jesus upon America and those who live there and all the people around the world. Jesus, break the chain. Jesus, break the chain. Every idol will be thrown down to the ground and broken to pieces and the name of Jesus will be lifted up in their hearts, in their homes, in their spirit, in their mind, in their body. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Arise, Lord, Holy Spirit, take your place in the heart of your people and draw everyone unto yourself to worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray, we pray, your kingdom come, your will be done, Lord Jesus, on earth as it is in heaven. We cancel every attack of the enemy on every soul in Jesus' name. We cancel every attack of the enemy in this dream, in those life, in war, in that country, Father. We speak peace of Jesus, we declare and decree peace of Jesus upon the nation of America and those who live there. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, that's what the dream means. There will be very, very great persecution coming to America and those who live there. Pack your bag. When God tells you, Go. Go. When God tells you, obey and you will be blessed. Because the Spirit of God knows all things. And this thing, this thing is going to happen, God already know, And that's why Jesus was with me in that dream. After he left, I have no more peace. And he will send you his angel to protect you. Don't worry. If you can't find your family, don't worry. They're in God's hand if they believe in God. And remember, God always have mercy. He will give us many chances to repent, to come to Him. That's why He sent His Son to die on the cross. Because He loves us so much. He doesn't want us to perish. And He, God created hell for Satan, not for us. He created hell for Satan and his followers. So you need to ask yourself, are you with God or against God? If you're with God, you need to believe in His Son. Because no one can go to the Father except through Jesus. Through, through Jesus. No one can go to heaven except through his son, Jesus. So, you need to pray, people.